This is problem 819. It is on page 314. It says, for the gears of problems 1 and 12, recommend the amount of backlash. Now, problem 1 had data as follows. Problem 1 had 44 gear teeth, uh, 20 degree uh, uh, involute teeth, and a diametral pitch of 12 inverse inches. Problem 12 was a metric gear. And problem 12 had, let's see, N equals 12 teeth. Again, a 20 degree pitch angle. And a metric module uh, of 12 millimeters. Okay, so to figure out the recommended backlash, what you have to do is go to page 283 and look at table 8-5. And if you look at the top, the, the chart is broken up into two parts. There's the upper section for English units and the lower section for metric units or for metric gears. Now the diametral pitch runs down the side here and all you have to do is look up 12. And you'll notice that the recommended backlash actually depends on the center distance. Now the center distance between the two gears would be, depend on how big the other gear is. We don't know what gear is mating with either of these. Okay, obviously this one would have to have a diametric pitch. The gear that makes with this gear would have to have a metric module of 12. But beyond that, we don't know how many teeth there are. We don't know what size they are. Therefore, the center to center distance of the gears is unknown. And so all we can do is suggest a range for the backlash dependent upon finding out the center to center distance. And it's pretty straightforward. If you look up a diametral pitch of 12, You'll see the center distances that are listed that are practical are from 2 inches to 8 inches. So here the backlash would be anywhere from 6 thousandths of an inch to 9 thousandths of an inch. That would be the range. And in the metric module, if you look up a metric module of 12, again the center distance range is from 200 millimeters to 800 millimeters. And so there it would be 0 0.52 millimeters to... Uh, 0 0.82 millimeters. And of course, just depending upon the uh, center distance, um, you would, would determine which one of these is, is appropriate.